From falling home prices, super low inventory, and volatile interest rates, the first quarter has been a roller coaster ride for the La Crescenta housing market. So, what does it all mean, and what's really going on in the market? Let's dive in. All right, welcome back, everyone, for the first quarter La Crescenta market update. I'm James Yu with Think Real Estate, a local realtor here in La Crescenta. First off, let's talk about home prices. In the first quarter of 2023, the average home price was a million hundred eighty-one thousand dollars, which was a 10% drop compared to last year's average of a million. $315,000. However, we did see a slight increase of 1% compared to fourth quarter of last year. The average price per square foot was $811, which was actually same as last year, but it has been trending up over the last couple of quarters where it was $793 in the third and $750 in the fourth quarter. So the prices have dipped compared to last year, but it looks to be trending back up. Now, what caused these changes in home prices? One major factor is a volatile interest rate that we saw over the past year. In the first quarter of 20. 2022, interest rates were between 3 to 4 percent, but they jumped to 7 percent in October and November. So this definitely had an impact on the market, but overall, home prices held their ground, likely due to low inventory. Speaking of low inventory, the first quarter of 2023 was one for the record books as far as new listings hitting the market. We typically see anywhere from 80 to 90, maybe sometimes 100 homes in the first quarter, but this year we only saw 36 new listings, which was about 60 percent less than what we normally see. It wasn't just buyers exiting the market, but also sellers, as we saw new listing data drop dramatically starting in the fourth quarter. This is a main reason why we haven't seen a big crash in home prices because demand still outweighs supply. In fact, I'm seeing a lot more buyer demand today versus the fourth quarter of last year, and homes that are represented well in today's market are getting multiple offers. Yes, multiple offers are making a comeback. But what about sellers? Where are they? I'm starting to see more new listings coming on in other parts of LA, but not just yet in La Crescenta. I believe there was a shock in the market among sellers with rates jumping up so quickly, but now more and more sellers are accepting this fact and coming on the market. However, we still have too many homeowners with rates under 4% who just won't put their homes on the market unless they have to. So this low inventory situation will continue to be an ongoing issue unless something dramatic happens with our economy. So there you have it, the latest update on the La Crescenta housing market. If you're a homeowner in La Crescenta and curious about how your home's value has changed, click on the home value link below to get the most up-to-date home valuation. I hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to follow me for more market updates and real estate tips in the future. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.